do this. Oh, my. About 525 Negroes had left Brown's Chapel and walked six blocks to cross Pettus Bridge and the Alabama River. They were young and old, and they carried an assortment of packs, bedrolls, and lunch sacks. Troopers were waiting 300 yards beyond the end of the bridge. Behind the troopers were dozens of possumen, 15 of them on horses, and perhaps 100 white spectators. Can you swim? How many swimming pool for black folk where I come from? It's by it. Everybody there? Yes. Turn on CBS right now, Andy. Right now. You have a TV there? Yes. Now? Right now. Turn on the television, sir. We interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin from CBS News. May we speak with you? were swept to the ground, screaming, arms and legs flying, packs and bags went skittering across the grassy divider. Those 
were still on their feet retreating. A cheer went up from the white spectators lying on the south side of the highway. The troopers continued pushing, using both the force of their bodies and the prodding of their nightsticks. Suddenly there was a sharp sound like a gunshot and a gray cloud spewed over the troopers and the Negroes. But before the cloud hit it all, there were several seconds of unobstructed view. <clears throat> Sticks could be seen through the gas, flailing at the heads of the marchers. The Negroes cried out as they crowded together for protection, and the whites on the sidelines whooped and sheep. <laughs> came reports of victims suffering fractures of ribs, heads, arms, legs. The Negro leader, John Lewis, despite injury from a possible skull fracture, led the marchers back to the chapel after the encounter with officers. He said, I don't see how President Johnson can send troops to Vietnam and can't send troops to Selma, Alabama, to which the Negroes present rolled up their approval. With my mother, please walk me, Lord. You walked with my mother, We know you got the guns in the shed, Jerry. Hey, 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 what you need guns for? The Bible says an eye for an eye, Reverend. Yeah? I'm sick of this Now, how many guns you think they got down there? That's an entire army down there. And wait, what you got? A couple of 32s or 38? Maybe a couple of old scatter guns? Well, I got enough to kill a couple of them That's what I got. And how many of us you think they gonna kill in retaliation? With their 12 gauge pump actions, their Colt automatics, their Remingtons, their helicopters, their tanks. We won't win that way, and I ain't talking about the Bible. I ain't talking what's right by God. I am talking facts, cold, hard facts. Now, you take two of them, and they take 10 of us. Now, we have to win another way. <laughs> 